Descript, Opus Clip. Both of them have specific use cases and they've been built for different purposes. But can they be compared? Today we are going to put them head to head. We want to know which one is the better option for an all-in-one tool. So let's check them out. All right, so we're jumping into the script now. And with the script, you can actually edit videos by editing the transcript, making it easier for anybody that's unfamiliar with traditional video editing. The script also automatically transcribes audio and video, allowing easy search editing um, and subtitle generation. The overdub feature lets you create AI generated voiceovers based on your voice, saving time for narration. You can also um, have collaborative workflows, which basically means that team members can collaborate in real time. You can make edits as well as comments. And this can basically streamline the review process if you are working in a team. Descript also provides advanced tools for podcast editing, including multi-track audio editing, removing filler words, and enhancing sound quality. It also automatically detects scene changes in videos, helping to structure and organize content quickly and automatically without you having to actually do it yourself. One or two of their drawbacks, however, unfortunately, is that there are no advanced visual effects. So, um, it lacks the advanced video effects and the animations that some of their competitors may offer. It does kind of limit the creativity possibilities for video projects if you are like more of a hardcore hands-on video editor. Also, it is subscription-based, so you can jump in with a monthly or a yearly subscription. It may cost more over time compared to you know some other software that is either free or that has a one-time cost. All right, let's jump into Opus Clip. So I have used Opus Clip in the past and um, I basically just used it to create short form videos in vertical layout from long form videos in horizontal layout. So um, it automatically creates these short engaging clips from the long form videos and it can save you like hours. It is actually quite amazing. Their clips are perfectly formatted for platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Reels, and even YouTube Shorts. You can set the time amount, the duration, and a bunch of other settings so that your videos come out exactly the way you want it. It uses AI to identify and extract the most impactful moments from your videos, which is awesome. It adds subtitles automatically, improving accessibility and engagement and it does all of this automatically and it's pretty high quality so you don't have to sit there and do it all yourself you can literally just upload a long form video set your parameters and click go you'll get an email when it's done and you have like maybe between 10 and 15 videos depending on how long your long form video is you can also add your logo or a watermark or brand colors to clips for consistent visual identity. And you can export clips quickly in the ideal resolution for your social platforms, which of course, at the end of the day, streamlines your workflow. One or two of their drawbacks is the limited long form editing. So because it's focused solely on short form content, it kind of lacks tools for editing full length videos. Also, unlike some of its competitors, it doesn't offer any audio enhancements like noise reduction or multi-track mixing. So if you are looking for something a little bit more advanced, a little bit more intuitive, Opus Clip may be not the right thing for you. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, both of the software that we just reviewed now are amazing. They both have fantastic features. They both appeal to different groups of people. And the takeaway here really is to figure out which group you fit into and which software you would be using. If this was enjoyable, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.